Hi guys, this is Liz Kaneda from Sleek Lens. Today I have a tutorial on our new Photoshop templates and I'm going to be showing you guys the birth announcement templates. So the great thing about these templates is as a photographer you can use them. You know, if you have a client and they want birth announcements printed, you can use these templates to quickly put them together and mass print them. Or even if you're not a photographer but you have professional pictures and you have the permission to print them, um, and you know how to use Photoshop, you can use these templates basically to send out your birth announcements. So I've got one pulled up right now and this is the front of it. And I'm going to go ahead and show you the back. So on the front, as you can see, we've got the name and the announcement. And then on the back we have the details. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to do this. So the first thing you're going to do is go to where you have your folders, your PSD files downloaded. So you once you purchase the templates you'll download them and as you can see we have the birth announcement back and then the front one and the best way to get those into Photoshop is just drag and drop them. Alright so now I have those right in here. Okay so as you can see um, as soon as I open them, it's going to basically show me this dialog box. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to either uncheck these little eyes here and that will take away, basically that will take away those guidelines. Or you can delete those layers altogether if you'd like and just put them in the trash. So once you've deleted those two layers, the next thing we're going to do is bring our picture in. So I've already got my photo here in Photoshop. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the marquee tool here to kind of select because as you can see with the invitation it's not all going to fit. Let's see which one it is. The whole photo isn't going to fit in this circle so what we're going to do is we're just going to select an area just about the size and I'm going to go edit, copy, I'm going to go back to my birth announcement. So the next thing you want to do is you're just going to go ahead and paste the layer. And if you're using a high resolution image, it's of course going to appear way bigger. So the next thing you can do is your move and transform tool here. You're going to make sure you have the show transform controls selected. Hold down your shift key because that will keep the proportions of the photo correct. And then you can go ahead and resize it for about what you think it's going to be within this circle here. I'm going to go a little bit smaller. All right, so now that you've resized it, go ahead and check that here. So the next thing you do is you need to make sure that this photo layer is going to be in this file here called Clipping Mask. So you're going to open the Clipping Mask file. And the first thing you're going to do is just going to take your photo layer and you're going to drag it directly into that clipping mask file right there. And you want your photo to be directly over top of the clipping mask that you're using. So we've gone ahead and done that. So the next thing you want to do is you're going to go to layer, scroll down to create clipping mask, and automatically it's going to cut the photo to the clipping mask here. So now that you've got your image cut to the, clip, cut to the clipping mask, uh, what you can do is you can use your show transform controls again and you can readjust the size if it's not exactly what you wanted. So I'm just going to leave it right about there and hit check. So once you've gone ahead and got your image into the template, the next thing you can do is change the text because obviously your child might not be named Arthur Johnson. So what you're going to need to do is when you purchase the templates, you're also going to get a document here that's going to have the fonts. It's going to lead you to a website where you can download the fonts into your font book or your where you keep your fonts on your computer. So that way when you go ahead to relabel things, the font is already in the computer and the computer and the program recognize the font. So I'm going to go ahead and close my clipping mask and now I'm going to be going into my text file right here. And I'm going to go to where it says Arthur Johnson. And I'm just going to go ahead and make a different name. So I'm going to go ahead and click here. And I'm just going to change his name to Oliver James. 
And as you can see, that was pretty easy. All we did was change the name. If you don't want it to say, we proudly welcome, you can change that to whatever you'd like as well. So now you can see how the front is done. Basically, we added the photo, we changed the name and customized it so that it fits your specific needs. I'm gonna show you guys how to do the back now, which is very similar to the front. So opening up the back of the birth announcement, we're gonna do the same thing and delete these first two layers. So again, we have the same thing going on here. So I'm gonna to go to my other photograph here. So now we've got a family photograph. I'm doing the same thing using the selection tool here to just select the area that I'd like. I'm gonna copy that. Going back to the announcement, and I'm gonna paste it. Again, if you have a high resolution image, you're going to want to use your transform controls to resize that. Make sure you are holding the shift key down to keep the proportions correct. All right, so once you've got that in a place about where you want it, now remember this layer needs to go into the clipping mask folder. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that folder. I'm gonna drag the layer into that folder and it needs to be on top of the clipping mask file, the clipping mask layer. So once you have it in the folder, you're gonna to go to layer, create clipping mask, and it's automatically going to cut the photo for you. And again, you can use your show transform controls to resize the photograph as well. So I'm gonna do it just like that. All right, so now that we have the photo in there, basically we're gonna do the same thing again, and we're gonna to go to our text and we're going to customize it to whatever we'd like. So, you know, if right now I'm only going to change one thing. So I'm going to go ahead and click here and I'm going to just change the birth date here. So let's just say instead of October, he was born in September, not on the 21st, maybe on the 10th of 2016. And he weighed nine pounds, even though he's a small looking child. So that's how you customize the text. So now what you've got is basically you have two custom announcements. So here's the back and the front. And as you can see, it's really easy. You just need to insert your photographs into the clipping mask. Then you can go ahead into the text and customize it to however you want. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to use the birth announcement templates and how to get your photos in there and you can try it out for yourself. If you are interested in the birth announcement templates, there are three different ones so they don't all look like this. So you should just go on to sleepcleanse.com and check out the other ones we have on there.